All right, what's up, everyone? Coach Braden here with Look Like You Lift, and welcome to the Look Like You Lift 15 podcast, where you're going to learn how to look like you lift in 15 minutes. Today, I'm honored to bring on Josiah Novak, um, who works with people and getting them shredded and lean and all without using any kind of diets. Um, he even wrote a book called Diet Suck, and uh, so he's, he's really cool, and I'm really uh, honored to have him on our podcast today. So Josiah, before we get into it, why don't you just give a quick introduction for the people who don't know who you are of you know who you are what you do and uh how you go about it yeah what's up Braden? so first of all thanks for having me on the show man um and uh to answer your question i am a health and fitness coach been a coach slash trainer slash mentor now for about 16 years uh so i guess i'm an og in the game <laughs> crazy enough I started as a personal trainer back in 2004 and uh, over the years have gone through many ups and downs, but have worked with a lot of people uh, over the years, helping them use the power of health and fitness to not only transform how they look, uh, but transform every part of their life, make everything better. So hmm. uh, currently our passion is helping guys uh, and, and dads and fathers over the age of 30 uh, who just feel like they've figured out a lot of life. Uh, you know, they've figured out maybe their business or their career, have a pretty solid personal life, family life, but just feel like fitness is that missing piece to having it all. Mm. And uh, we help guys not only get in great shape, but stay in shape forever and ultimately find the path that's right for them. And so besides fitness, man, I'm a, I'm a dedicated father. I have two little boys and uh, my free time is spent you know, chasing them around, coaching their sports teams and uh, hanging out with my wife. So <laughs> that's pretty much it, man. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to be here. Yeah, I love that. So you said something that's pretty crucial there for everybody listening is losing the weight and getting healthy forever. I think a lot of people get in this nasty habit of they lose the weight and they stop with the method of what with which they use to lose the weight and then they gain it all back and they go through this vicious cycle of of, you know, undulating between gaining the weight and losing the weight and gaining the weight and losing the weight. So that's pretty big that you work on getting to lose it forever. Sure. Yeah, um, man. I mean, fitness is often described as a marathon, right? But I don't believe it's a marathon or a sprint. I think that it's a choice on how we treat ourselves and ultimately how we show up for other people as our mm -hmm. best. And uh, it can be a great tool to see areas of your life improve radically if done properly so we're we're pretty passionate about the power of fitness here yeah so would you say that by getting more fit it improves the other facets of your life like uh like your marriage and your work absolutely man uh you can't serve others from an empty cup mm -hmm. and ultimately taking care of your body even though you know when we talk about hey i only have one body i only have one life i only have one opportunity to be healthy uh, oftentimes we set aside our bodies and health in pursuit of a lot of other things. And we find that ultimately we run into a wall and we don't feel our best. We can't show up at our best, both mentally, you know, physically and spiritually mm. in relationships, in our business, in our careers, with our kids. And we look back with regret thinking, what could I have done differently when really it just comes down to choosing to live a life that is, uh, that is, that is healthier. Um, but yes, all parts of your life can see drastic improvement simply because you have more clarity, more energy, and you feel good. You know, when you feel good internally and you look a little better externally, things start to change in a positive way. That's powerful. Yeah. So fitness is way more than just uh, skin deep. It's way more than just seeing a good set of abs or looking good naked, it literally transforms you into a more effective human being. Yeah. I mean, you learn so much about yourself when you go through a transformation, mm -hmm. you know, your self-belief goes through the roof because oftentimes one of the biggest hurdles to getting in shape is actually believing you can do it. Mm -hmm. And when you find that it is possible, and in fact, it's a lot more simple than you ever thought, all of a sudden you realize there's more you know, that you're capable of. You're, you, you think, oh, well, if I can do that, then I can probably do this. And you realize that you don't have to be satisfied or you don't have to be stuck 
in a place where you don't feel your best. It's a powerful thing. So yeah, man, people's uh, limitations go out the window when they realize that there aren't any. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's powerful. So I want to talk more about your book, Diets Suck, because I feel like right now, everybody thinks in order to get to their goal physique or their goal weight loss, they have to stick to X diet. They have to have a specific type of diet. So why don't you kind of go into a little bit like, what do you mean by diets suck? Yeah, it's a great question. So I wrote Diet Suck back in 2017, 2018, really in response to the constant stream of new diets that would make their way to the mainstream. Mm -hmm. so I think most recently, it's probably been things like carnivore or veganism or car, you know, keto or whatever. There's always something else out there that and, and not to say that these diets don't work, but it's, it's really putting the cart in front of the horse, if you will. Because what ends up happening is people pursue this extreme way of eating whatever diet they choose without understanding the basics around nutrition. And they put these really, really strict, well, not even so much strict, but restricted guidelines around how they can eat, what they can eat, when they can eat, and they're unnecessary. Mm -hmm. it's, it's making things harder than it has to be. And so I believe that all these mainstream diets suck because they don't really teach you what you need to know about nutrition. They just give you a false sense of hope. Like, Hey, if you just follow this extreme diet, if you have this crazy amount of willpower, if you cut out, you know, all the bad food and you just stick to these five foods, then ultimately you're going to look like this person over here, or you're going to, whatever, you're going to blow your, your previous best away. Mm -hmm. So we're passionate about teaching people what all diets have in common, common factors, what really matters when it comes to nutrition, what, you know, what's 99% of the game. That way people can create their own dietary approach. And I'll be the first one to say like, look, yes, all those diets can work, but that's not really what you should be concerned with. You should be concerned with, can they work forever? Because mm -hmm. my definition is, of, of work, the word work, meaning I wake up every day excited about the way I eat and I can see myself doing it long enough to live a long and healthy life. And so, yeah, if that's carnivore for you, awesome. Like there are guys out there that absolutely love the carnivore diet because it's sustainable. They love the food that they're eating and they don't feel restricted. Mm -hmm. And for some people, the carnivore diet is the worst thing on earth. I'm, I'm picking on carnivore, but you could replace carnivore with anything, beach body diet, Mediterranean diet, you know, all these things. And the good news is like, there's a way to get the best of all diets and put it into your own unique approach and find what works for you. And so that's what the book was about. It was about giving people nutritional freedom and uh, opening up people's eyes to the fact that uh, you can enjoy the food you eat and still look great naked. That's awesome. So why do you think people are adhering? Like, why do people think they need to have a diet in order to lose the weight? Well, it's because people are easily manipulated. <laughs> I mean, if you look around, we are influenced heavily by, you know, aesthetic things, ideals, right, that we see. Uh, we want to follow the latest and greatest. We think that there's secrets out there that someone else has uncovered that we just weren't privileged enough to get. Mm. And uh, diets, since, you know, the low fat craze, you know, 20 years ago, have always been, well, not always, but have been a part of society most recently, because we're going 100 miles an hour in our lives. And we often feel overwhelmed, because everybody's working, everyone's trying to get to the top. And so if we see something that comes across as a magical pill, well, of course we want it, right? We want that secret. When in reality, the secret is a lot less sexy than all these diets claim it to be, right? So I believe it's just human nature, at least in today's modern world, to seek out that magical secret, something that's fast, that microwave style result, right? Where it's like, oh, I just do this diet for two weeks or oh, all I gotta do is cut out carbs, I'm gonna get ripped, okay, it's easy, right? We're always looking for the easy route because we've created such a chaotic world that we live in that anything that adds to that 
really overwhelms us. And so it's very attractive to see something that seems so easy on the surface. And we see maybe someone that looks like the way we want to look and we go, yeah, I want that. And our brains are easily tricked and brainwashed into thinking that. So it almost sounds like it, it, whether, whether the method works or not, it's almost easier for people to just, just to follow it because there's no guesswork. Correct. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's, um, people like to just be told, and, and I get this because I understand from a perspective of someone who is busy, there are many things in my day to day where I'm just like, Hey, I just want the simple, like, just tell me one or two things I got to do. And then I'll just go do it. Right. But what we find with something as important as nutrition, we need to understand the basis. Cause here's the, the thing. Eating doesn't have to be complicated. Mm-hmm. You can literally have a very, very simple and easy to follow nutrition plan without having to be miserable. We also can't see past the next couple of weeks. People have this hot and cold empathy gap, right? Where it sounds awesome and we get excited when someone says, hey, guess what? All you have to do is eat meat and don't worry about anything else. And you're just going to, you're going to get super ripped. And this hot and cold empathy gap is where we get super excited about something up front. And then three days into it, we realize, what were we thinking? There's no way I can stick to this. Our brains can't seem to cover that gap between reality and fantasy. Mm. And so, yeah, we want that quick, fast, like, woo, convenient. But if we just spend, I literally would say 20 minutes on education around nutrition, you can literally have a whole lifelong plan of eating that allows so much more freedom and flexibility. And I get some people do need more strictness, not restrictions, but just more strict guidelines where, you know, to prevent them from self-sabotage and prevent them from maybe foods they're addicted to or really bad habits, but it still pays to understand what's going on so that you don't feel that like trap type feeling in your diet. hundred percent. I have to agree with you on that. I feel like when you become too, when you feel like you're too trapped, it almost makes it even more tempting to go off plan. Uh, one thing, so I work a lot with men with their, with their eating disorders. And that's one thing that we talk about is there's no such thing as like good foods and bad foods. There's foods that are going to help you. And there's foods that may not help as much. Um, yeah. And, you know, when we, when we can kind of change that mentality of how we view food, it doesn't, it doesn't become so tempting because you're not like restricted from having it. Yeah. So what would you say to, so let's say that we, you have someone who's tried every diet under the sun and hasn't seen success. What's one piece of that? What's one golden nugget? What's one piece of advice that you could give them right now to get them on the right track to finally losing the weight long-term? Man, yeah, if you've tried every diet under the sun, I mean, the good news is that you're open to the possibility of change, right? Because hmm. you tried them all. So <laughs> you're willing to give things a shot. Um, I would say there probably, there's this that word like try being in there, you know, it's, it's a subtle change to commit, right? Hmm. Um, commit to a path and see it through, you know? Um, and, and the good news here is like, this is one of what I love about fitness. One of the things I love is that when you do follow something that is designed for you and specific to your circumstances, it's beyond a shadow of a doubt that you're going to see success mm-hmm. because science and time combined together equals results, right? If you give it enough time and you let science do its thing, you let thermodynamics and the calories in, calories out, protein, recovery, all that stuff do its thing, you're going to see results, you know? Um, And so I would probably take a step back and get fully mentally prepared for what's ahead, you know, because it sounds like the someone who has tried everything and nothing works, it's they're chasing the wrong thing, right? They're chasing probably a fast result and they're going after the most you know, extreme or sexy approach that sounds great, but they haven't really stepped back and, and, and actually done some self-reflection and said like, Hey, can I actually see myself? Like, you know, when I go to my kid's birthday party, is this going to work? 
You know, like when I go out for business trips, is this actually going to fit what I do? When you actually look at it that way, you go, yeah, it's not. So learn the basics. You know, the basics for us are, are simple. Understand calories, mm. right? How many calories do you need? Get enough protein to support your specific goals. Go the route of more fat, more carbs, less carbs, more fat, whatever, depending on what you prefer. And it might change day to day, week to week, but as long as you have your calories and protein dialed in, great. Stick to healthy whole foods most of the time. Avoid processed crap as much as you can. Save that for special occasions. Limit alcohol because alcohol is not great for your health. Get enough water. And honestly, you do that stuff. I mean, it's hard not to be successful. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. I think that this is a, a point maybe I should have mentioned earlier, but one of the issues that holds people back is this whole idea of easy, right? Mm -hmm. Easy is relative and it's individual in terms of what we think of as easy. You know, a diet I follow now, which I love, like I love what I eat, might not be easy for some people, right? Even though it's easy for me. So if we're chasing this whole idea of easy, I think that that's a mistake. I think we need to accept that there are going to be some challenges of getting outside of your comfort zone and not being used to some of these habits for a little while because you are making a transformation. And if we can accept that and actually look forward to that, right? Like when I'm a little bit hungry, when I'm in a fat loss phase, just a little hungry, you know, kind of just managing it. I don't go, man, this is such a bummer, man. Like I really hate this. I say, wow. That means my body's probably utilizing fat for energy, which is exactly what I want it to do, which is great. This is a positive feedback loop right now. It's not always easy to do. I get that. But if we're chasing that, that feeling of results, of accomplishment versus, oh, I just want this to be easy. I just want this to be easy. Well, it's almost like the more you focus on how easy it is, the harder it gets. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. That's, so you said something really powerful there. Uh, it's simple. Yeah, it, it's it's simple, but it's effective. And I think what it comes down to is with the simplicity comes in the consistency. You have to be consistent with these simple little uh, tasks that you that you talked about. That's awesome. Well, Josiah, we're out of time. So what's the best way for people to um, get a hold of your book, Diet Sucks? Yeah, just go to Amazon. Uh, you'll be able to purchase the Kindle version, I think, for like three dollars right now. So it's it's super cheap packed full of information. Um, you know, I always look at fitness as a never ending learning process. I'm still learning stuff all the time. And it's amazing because it's one of those things where there's always something new to explore. Um, so grab it, it'll help you. It'll add to your education. Even if you know a ton about nutrition already, I'm sure there might be a nugget or two that can help you out. So Amazon's the best spot. 100%. And then what's the best way that we can get in contact? Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best way for people to get in contact with you if they want more information on your coaching or your program? Absolutely, man. So the best place is uh, any social media platform. I'm Josiah Fitness on social media. Uh, if you go to my website, thetruetransformation.com, you can check out uh, all the things we offer. That's awesome, man. <laughs> All so right. I'm, well, no. <laughs> I'm holding it in the whole time. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, uh, yeah no, I, I have seasonal allergies, man. Gosh, it's, it's, it's so amazing. <laughs> yeah, I get that. We just moved here to Idaho and uh, apparently there's a lot of the fluffy cotton things that fly through the air. It's yeah. Like, drive me crazy. So <laughs> awesome, man. Well, Hey, I'll let you go. Uh, thank you to everybody who watched this episode. Be sure to go follow Josiah fitness and uh, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for having me, Ray. Appreciate it, buddy.